guys, how you doing? My name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue Man, and I got a good show for you today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some uh, beef short ribs, I am gonna smoke them on the uh, Pit Boss 1600. It's about a five hour smoke. We wanna get them right up the toothpick tender. We'll get them off the uh, pit, we'll let them rest, we'll debone them. In the meantime, we're gonna make up a, a stroganoff with some brandy, some red wine, heavy cream, sour cream, mushroom, onions, man, we are gonna add the meat to that mixture. Lay it out over egg noodles and we are gonna do a homemade beef short rib stroganoff. Oh, even the birds are going crazy. You're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for this one. All right, guys, look real quick before we get flying on this cook. And trust me, man, this is one cook. You're going to want to take notes because you're going to want to make it. I just got to do a, a quick shout out to Mr. Alex Gilmore, who reached out, said he wanted to make me a uh, cutting board. As you see, I'm on and he came through and a month later or so, I had it. He runs a, a little woodworking company called Pork Belly Woodworks. I'm gonna leave information down below if you wanna check out his Facebook page. If you're looking for something, give him a shout out. He is a good dude and as you could tell by my board, he is one hell of a woodworker. Or is that wood whittler? While I'm at it, a, a quick shout out has to go to my Patreon members and YouTube join members information down below. It is two ways of many ways to support myself and support the show and it is all, all greatly appreciated. Now look, we are going to jump right into this show and again, this is one you're going to want to make. Alrighty, look, I'm going to take you step by step in making this. And I can tell you, man, that this was one of the uh, tastiest things I've made on the uh, pit in a long time. And basically what you got here is some bone-in beef short ribs. You can get these in the... Uh, you can get these in a local market. You want some good marbling in there. You're gonna have bone one side and silver skin right there, the other side. So you're gonna need to take that off. Now look, you could follow along with the uh, short rib here. You could use a, a filet mignon. You could use a, uh, well, you could use a brisket if you'd like. You could use a steak if you'd like. But these, uh, these short ribs are easily one of my favorites to uh, smoke. So these worked out perfect. So look, basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna KISS it up with some just some kosher salt, black pepper, and granulated garlic, that's it. When you go to that's a beefy it. type of meat like this, yes. sometimes simple is better. Basically what you want to do here is you want to get all the sides of the uh, short ribs. You want to get a, a pretty decent amount on there. You want to help build that nice crust. So look, I got my, uh, my Pit Boss 1600 all set up with uh, cherry pellets and I'm gonna go 250 Fahrenheit and you're gonna take this right up to toothpick tender and that's gonna be around five hours spritzing on the hour every hour once your rub is set. As you can see, I do have a uh, water pan tucked away on the uh, on the side there, and that'll just help a little moisture in the uh, pit. So look, as that uh, short ribs are going, again, we're looking at about a five hour cook. What we're gonna do here is do some simple prep of some mushrooms and uh, yellow onion, I do believe. And we wanna keep these slices on the thicker side for this recipe at about a quarter inch a slice.
my focus on this uh, recipe here is definitely gonna be on this uh, stroganoff sauce. This is a uh, made from scratch. I have a full ingredient list down in the uh, description. So look, basically what I got going on here is I'm gonna get the onions on first. This is gonna be a slow sweat again. You don't wanna saute these onions like you would a, uh, like a, a steak, right? You're not looking to fry the onions. You wanna bring them up slow and just kinda of like sweat them out. I also uh, included uh, two tablespoons of so of a beef stock information on that stock down below that is a better than bouillon i got some uh, fresh cracked black pepper not really but just black pepper oh hell yeah and i got some salt kosher buddy oh man i gotta up my pepper game so look, like I said, man, we are gonna bring these onions up slow. We will follow them up with our uh, mushrooms here in a bit, and we will bring it all up slow. We will get a top on these uh, these mushrooms and onion. Now look, this whole sauce is only gonna take about maybe 15 minutes tops to cook. So you're gonna wanna time the sauce to the short ribs, right? So I started this sauce maybe, uh, maybe a solid four and a half hours in, and I had probed the uh, short ribs, so I knew they were about 15 minutes out. So look, we will get the uh, short ribs on the uh, side. We'll let them uh, rest and then we will uh, debone them. But then we'll just take a, a quick peek at our uh, onions and shrooms and they are definitely looking good. We'll get a top put back on them and let them sit for another couple minutes as we tend to our uh, get the uh, bones off on the uh, short ribs. How and I'll tell you, man, after eating this uh, meal here, which again was one of the better things that I've uh, made on the uh, pit in a while, those, uh, the short ribs was definitely the uh, right choice, man. It had the uh, perfect amount of fat, moisture, it had that salty crust. I mean, I definitely recommend making this dish and using short ribs. Alrighty, so look, we'll get them, uh, we'll get that on the uh, side of the uh, meat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our mushrooms and onions off because we are gonna get ready to build some flavors. Now remember, you are working with brandy, so if you're doing this in the house with an open flame, you gotta be careful. Otherwise, here, I'll use a lighter. And that was maybe a uh, couple shots of brandy. We'll burn off that alcohol real quick. And then we will follow that up with about a little less than a quarter cup of uh, red wine. Now keep in mind, I don't really use too many measurements here. Um, I'm gonna build the flavors. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna taste and add, taste and add. So I'm gonna start building this sauce slow, low, with just a, just a small amount of ingredients and then I'll uh, keep adding and raising them as I go. So 
So now we have our base of brandy and red wine. We got some salt, we got some pepper in there. And we will follow that up with a little bit more brandy only cause hey man, it looks good on film. <laughs> enough of that now look we're gonna follow that up about an eighth of a cup of heavy cream and again you just want to build those flavors cook it down taste and add about a tablespoon of uh, butter oh yeah and that is about a quarter cup of uh, beef stock now I'm using better than bouillon. You definitely want to use uh, you definitely want to use a good stock and not just a uh, cube. This is a, a restaurant sheet. I'm going to go with a couple of sprinkles of flour just to help thicken up the uh, sauce. Now look, if you were going to saute the meat and some flour and get that going, let's say if you use like a, a filet mignon, well then that flour is going to be in the pan. But hey man, we didn't do that. So a little flour, a little restaurant sheet will help thicken that sauce up nice. So look, at this point, it is just really taste and add, taste and add. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I gotta tell you right now, that red wine was definitely the uh, star of this uh, sauce. That is about a, a half a cup of sour cream. And you know where we're going with this. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, man. And as you break up that sour cream and that sauce gets back up to that uh, simmer, there you go, it uh, just keeps thickening up. That was maybe uh, less than a, a quarter cup of sour cream. Again, the uh, flavors, man, we are building flavors. I am tasting, I am adding what I like. And this sauce is just, uh, yeah, I mean, it's coming together, man. I should do a series of videos like uh, 10 ways to cook and prepare beef short ribs. Now look, you're only gonna get that in the meat for maybe a minute or so, and then you'll follow that up with the uh, onions and uh, the onions and shrooms. You'll heat it all up and you'll get ready to plate it up. Now look, the only thing I forgot was to get a little greenery in there, a little color in there, but oh well, man, trust me, man, this is a top-notch flavors. Guys, look, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell as I plate this bad boy up, and we'll take it in for a uh, quick taste test. Followed up with a couple of dollops of a sour cream, of course. Oh, yeah. 
Guys, let's take this in live. All right, guys, look, that is it for this one. I mean, come on, guys, man. Who is going to make this? Leave me a comment down below. I mean, I can tell you already, I wish I would have picked up some greenery. I could have prettied up the plate a little bit, but hey, man, the short rib, I brought some, I bought some bones in there. The uh, wife did a little trimming off those bones, man, and she said this is by far the uh, favorite. About five and a half hours start to finish on the uh, pit to get that up to that toothpick tender. You see how I made the sauce, it's very easy. Remember, you can always add, but you can never take out. You wanna build those flavors slowly and keep tasting until you get the right consistency of what you want. And man, I'll tell you, man, this is, uh, this is gonna be good. Quick taste test, dinner tonight, and we'll wrap it up. Oh, man. So look, right off the bat, the meat, you know, just kind of disintegrates in your mouth. You could definitely pick up, I can't pick up too much of that brandy, but we burn that off, but I can get a hint of that red wine. I like that. It's got the perfect salt consistency. I mean, look, man, this is a home run. This is a winner. And that is it for this one. Look, again, I am gonna roll my Patreons and YouTube join members. I got information down below. And that is it. Until next time, we will see you oh, soon, man. Come on.